welcome. Welcome, welcome to another sharing, a little segment. What are we sharing? We are sharing love, we are sharing compassion, we are sharing kindness, we are sharing forgiveness, and all branching off to all things like contentment and ease and grace and joyfulness, laughter. Tracy is a medium in which collective consciousness is flowing through. Tracy has moved aside, lack of better words, to allow source energy to communicate. To Tracy, all good things from the heavens above. Some see it as angels speaking through, and that would be correct. Some see it as past loved ones speaking through, and that would be correct. Some see it as divine speaking through, and that would be correct. Collective consciousness, an umbrella, more than one. How does it all work? Truly a miracle, always will be, always has been very fascinating to Tracy. She'll say, how does it all work? How do I know what to say? How do I move my hands? How, how, and how did someone so ordinary, such as myself, be able to receive wisdom from the heavens. Hmm. A miracle, a miracle. But Tracy did bring this forth from her divine eternal light into her, we want to say her world among Mother Earth. So she was, we'll say, born with it. Here we are, wanting to share in this space and time all the foundation based on Tracy sharing, based through Tracy, is all about love, compassion, kindness, forgiveness. And that is, we've spoken about the four pillars, that is the foundation. And then just building up or moving forward, if you will, and expanding into different areas of topics. In this space and time, when the world is truly feeling unbalanced. And we say unbalanced because we're really wanting to be gentle. There are so many that have, we want to say there are so many opinions about what is going on in the world. We spoke on our last segment about how Ones are truly feeling fearful and trapped, restricted, confined, shackled, feeling like they're in, in a space that is bars are holding them in, waiting for the door to open, which is causing great amounts of anxiety, which is causing great amounts of, we want to say, depression, not a word we use often but a feeling of such low, just low, lethargic, and just sort of feeling run over by life. And so many are restricted in this time, in this space and time. And in these restrictions, they are no longer able to work at their business, some are not able to go to their place of employment. Some are not able to visit their family and their friends. Some not able to travel a distance to be able to be with family. Some not able to even visit a family member that is in, we'll just say, a facility not able to communicate. And if there is communication, oh, it is from a distance. It is you stand there, I will stand here. Oh, and you should cover your face. In this space and time, we want to say the pendulum swings. What would feel as common sense, if you will, has been truly, we want to say misinformed, but again, we're not here to change any belief or steer anyone any which way, not at all. 
Tracy will get the question, and what do you think? What do you think the world is, is doing? What do you think is going to happen? Do you ever think we can get out of these cages? Do you think that my business will flourish? Do you think? And they're asking questions that truly everyone has free will and free choice. But what gets messy with it all is that there is so much information flowing through, and we can't even say flowing, because it's not a flow, it is bombarding, it is constant, it is sort of like a machine gun going off into the going off into space that is just relentless. And in this relentless mm, opinion, let's just call it that. So many are getting wrapped up in it and it is turning the wheel. This is why we did that. It is turning the wheel of fear. What do you mean this is going to happen? What do you mean this could happen? What do you mean what if this could happen? What do you mean? And it, and it goes on and on and on. And so many are pounding the fear, just pounding it. And that is why we asked and suggested and guided and said, turn off the media, even for a moment in time, to find relief. Where is this information coming from? And it is noted, and we will say it, the information that is being placed upon the planet is one-sided. There is a whole side, a flip of a coin, another side to the coin. The other side doesn't seem to have a voice. The other side of the information and the enlightenment, the opposite to fear, the ones that are wanting to give a message of love, the ones that are wanting to soothe and to heal, and to bring forth education and knowledge and wisdom. The ones that have spent years honing their skills and we everything from a doctor to perhaps a lawyer to a politician, name it, ones that have cultivated and have been educated and not just educated in schooling, university, etc., educated in their profession by experience to do one thing to find the result. And these doctors are coming forward to share a different perspective on what is happening, to share, to remove the fear, to remove the covering on the face, to bring people together and not further apart. And what happens there? Well, their voice is not heard. Why? Because it is one-sided and that one-sided is crushing the other side of the information. But here is what we wish to share. The one standing for the betterment of all, for the well-being, to want to protect the well-being. And there are many coming forth wanting to protect the well-being, seeing what is going on, seeing the opposite side, and sort of in that cage, let me out so I can so I can speak on my behalf, on my truth of what I understand it to be, on my education, on my experience. And the fear has taken over from the one side because it's being pounded. So think of it as a machine gun. Think of it as just relentless, relentless, all day long, 24-7, fear, 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 fear. The ones receiving, what do you think is hitting them? A vibration of fear. 
And we have shared time and time and time and time and time and time again. Vibration is what moves forward, outward. So if one is feeling fearful and it is oh, fearful and it is a vibration that moves forth, then when one goes to take a step, even inside their cage, they're walking into the vibration of fear. Now, not only are they walking into their own vibration of fear, which is keeping it with them, they are being constantly bombarded, invaded with wording and phrasing and fear topics, fear headlines. Fear is being driven and driven and driven and driven. And then if you want to get out of the cage and if you want to hug your, your mom, if you want to go see a family member, then, oh, we have the solution for you. And you should do this, this, and this, and this. And there are ones with years in their profession saying, this isn't the way it should be. This isn't right. Now again, right, wrong. Yeah? It is free will and free choice. To one, it is very right. To another, the same thing is wrong. To that one, what is wrong is certainly not wrong to another. And so that is subjected to the choice to understand how you wish to feel at any moment in time. And we have shared all emotions are meant to be felt. But how long do you wish to carry the emotion for? And what we are sharing in this segment is that you're carrying, if you are, something that is being penetrated right into, right into. It's an invasion. And the ones that are wanting to soothe and calm and have a remedy, if you will, a solution, some relief, light in the darkness. Oh, wow. Who's shutting them down? Well, we would say the one with the gun, yeah? It's a metaphor, but it is not. There are many that are controlling many. And we say that because it's not just sort of that tear, oh, the information came from here and that's why we have to listen and that is why we. It could be a family member to a family member because there are different views. There are different opinions. And so even that is separating people. And one will say, well, I, I don't believe we should cover our face. And the other one will say, oh, I'm not talking to you unless your face is covered. A separation in people, separation of sides. Well, I'm not going to do this, fill in the blank. And we don't want to get sticky with it. And we're being very broad because we do not want this coming back on to Tracy. And we certainly want to get our message out without it somehow disappearing. There are so many who are placing valuable, valuable, insightful wisdom, expertise, years of knowing because of experience or just seeing what the seeing what is truly going on firsthand. And they're wanting to share from the goodness of their heart to share with others. So it's not about one side being right and the other side being wrong. Not at all. It's about being able to decide for oneself. But it's off balance. Ones are only getting the one side 
and predominantly the one side that ones are having access to, it's a machine gun. And what do guns do? Something to ponder. What is the destruction when there is a machine gun? What is the destruction? What dies? Is that not what it is for? To create death? And we shared the last segment. There is a death of the human spirit. And so with that, we are going to just place that aside and we are going to guide to say, if you are feeling fearful, anxious, angry, resentful, if you are feeling beaten by life, there are many taking their own lives. We cannot say it any other way. Where we are in the great heavens, as Tracy places it, there are many that are leaving Mother Earth because of these, we want to say, the emotional feeling, but it is so warranted because it is how one is feeling. It feels real, yes. An emotion is real, yes. But what we are sharing is that you do have free will and free choice to go within, place down, place down the fear even for a moment and remember the love that you hold. Remember who you are underneath life experience. Shine your light, shine your love. And it sounds so ah, hairy fairy BS, just shine light and the whole world will change. I don't think so. Mm. What we are sharing is that you shine your light and the whole world will change to peacefulness. You shine your light, and if many do, and it doesn't have to take everyone, it's a small percentage to the bigger number. It is. We have shared that love trumps all. Kindness, compassion, forgiveness towards it all. It's a vibration. And why is it so powerful? Because it matches universal forces. Would there be war and quarrel in the heavens? Would there be control in the heavens? Would there be greed? Would there be cruelty? Would there ever be a machine gun in the heavens? It would sound absurd. The vibration of love heals. The vibration of forgiveness, compassion, to be kind, it heals. It heals one's soul, one's heart, one's mind, and it extends forward because it's a vibration. And when you are placing your love forth, what are you taking a step into, even in the cage? When you have a peaceful moment to yourself, and we want to say, just if you could remove yourself from the line of media fire, the relentless pounding, if you could move aside, turn it off just for a moment, just perhaps for an hour, maybe two, maybe the day, maybe the week and the month, and just go within and bring forth your love to place upon it all. It is a vibration. And the one that is pondering, thinking deeply about ending it all, about taking their life, will feel the vibration. It is of grand truth. Love is the answer. Love is the answer. And so many are trying to place it forth, just like Tracy is placing forth this video, because her heart feels the pain of the planet. 
She wants to bring forth the healing because she has the ability to share, just like all the others that are wanting to share, bringing forth goodness to others. Is, does it, we want to say, does it sound as though it would feel good having a relentless machine gun going over mankind? Does that feel like love? Does it? Does it? Ponder that. Where do you wish to stand? Do you want to be in the line of fire? Or would you like to just take a moment to yourself, and it's only a moment, to just place forth love? It doesn't seem possible that it is the answer, but it is. It is. When love is placed forth, the universe feels it. And how big is the universe? Ponder that. Fear, and we want to say war, lack of better words, does not sustain itself, especially if there are other shining light. If you have a very dark room, and you light a match, you can see the room. The light diminishes the darkness. Light will diminish the fear. What is light? Your eternal love, your eternal divine light in which you came to Mother Earth with. Shine that. You have it at all times. And what we are sharing, if you feel that you are in a dark room, and many do, many do to the point where they are taking their life, we wish to bring forth the remembrance that you are holding your own light to see the way. But it's very difficult when all you see is the darkness. because of the fear, because of the control, if you will. When you bring your own light, think of it as lighting a match. And when you just take another deep breath, Divine Mother Earth, think of it as lighting a match and lighting a candle. And when you think, you, you just place another deep breath. Think of it as lighting a match, lighting a candle, and then lighting another candle. And then another deep breath is taking the candle and lighting another candle. And another deep breath is taking a candle and handing it to someone else. Here, you hold this. And then that person has a light. And they notice that the darkness is diminished. Would you have another candle? Yes. And you have your own candle. I do? Yes. Light the match. All I have to do is just think about love? Yes. Okay. I've lit a candle. Yes. Now hand it to someone else. And you can see that when another hands a lit candle to another, a lit candle to another, metaphor or not, because many come together for the healing, lighting candles, yes? Why is that? Why is that, that a candle is lit in the darkest of times? When you just take one inhale and find peacefulness among something that feels heavy, burdened, dark, chaotic, name it, name it. 
you are then able to hold your light and move forward into it. And then you are able to extend that light. You hold this, hold this candle, give it to someone else, light someone else's candle. And there are many, many upon the planet in this space and time wanting to share and think of it as just sharing to light a candle. And we will say to Tracy, if one person hears this message, the candle has been lit. Really, really, really good. There is great love for you. Thank you.